So someone has come up and is accusing Tanasha Don of being broke right now. You left the man who was giving you money to take care of most of your things. Yeah, now you cannot afford. <laughs> when people break up with rich guys, eh, so much is said about the whole situation in the community. So yeah, this is one of the times and situations that Tanasha is going through sound like fools stop sounding like fools tanisha donna speaks after she was accused of failing to pay uber driver and stylist my name is juliana you tuned into the east africa social television so damn i'm I'm start baby mama has responded to claims that she owes an uber driver and a stylist who used to dress her up in screenshots shared by a blogger ediga an Uber driver claimed that Tanasha refused to pay him after offering her taxi services. Like, you know how you drive someone and then they get to their destination and they're like, I'll pay you via m and then the money does not come. Mm -hmm. I hear that's supposed to be the situation. And another lady wrote to the blogger claiming Tanasha owes her 21,000 shillings. That is Kenyan shillings. 21,900 shillings. She, Tanasha, is yet to pay me 21,900 worth of outfits. We had an arrangement for her to use my outfits as product placement on her Instagram, like most of the models and celebrities I use. But instead, she wore the outfits and refused to post any. I didn't even bother and didn't even bother to return them. Making it worse, on her baby shower, she gave her assistant to wear one of them. I asked her and she was like, oh, I don't want stress. I am pregnant. She agreed to pay the cost of the outfits until now, nothing. It's been almost two years. Check out the post, guys. Why do celebrities want to show that they are all that when they are not? I mean, if you're not going to give anyone uh, a mention, please just pay for the clothes. Guys, this is shameful. Anyway, Tanasha clapped back. She's like, okay, I like this. I think it's fair and win-win for both of us. I will promote you well. Let's do it. Awesome. So when do we start? This is the conversation that she had with her with the lady who owns those clothes um, and she promised them that you know what I'm going to be showing you off and she didn't there's a message that says happy uh, happy birthday baby girl more life more blessing look looks like they have been having a good relationship until one time when the girl says hi i hope you still remember you didn't return my dresses or pay for the one your assistant wore it's been almost a year tanasha took to social media to address those talking about her and she wrote it's sad how some people only have negative things to say when they know absolutely nothing about you remember gossip is shared by the uh, misinformed who often sound like fools while creating ongoing drama and disorder translate that girl that is how she's clapping back well i don't know now who is right tanasha seems like she did what she was supposed to do but on the other side the other uh, the, the stylist also seems to be telling the truth because if at some point you gave me the mentions and i appreciated but you gave one of my clothes to your assistant or did not return the ones you're supposed to return after the mentions then clearly i have a point who do you think is right and do you, who do you think is wrong here? You can go ahead and give your comments in the comment section. My name is Juliana. This is the East Africa Social Television.